This is a, a really standard kind of exam question where they like to blend together a few of the different things, okay? So this isn't one with any approximations in, but it's one where there's a missing mu. So it says a machine cut strips of metal length L, where L is normally distributed with a standard deviation of 0 0.5. Strips with lengths either less than 49 or greater than 50.7 cannot be used given that 2.5% of the cut lengths exceed 50.9. So I actually don't know what the mean is here, so I'm gonna to have to work out what the mean is. Well, so we know that 2.5% um, of them are bigger than 50.98. So if we're gonna say that the lengths are L, we know the probability that L is bigger than 50.98 is equal to 0.025. So if we switch that around, we get the probability that L is less than 50.98 is 0.975. Now we have to standardize this. So we're going to say, what's the probability that Z is less than A is 0.975? And I'm going to hop over to the calculator to do that bit. I think. Oh, no, I'm not. Where is it? Not point nine seven five. Now, because I don't know the standard deviation, I don't know the mean. I'm going to put the mean in as zero, the standard deviation as one, and we get one point nine five or one point nine six. Basically, it's going to be. Come on, go away. So we get that this is one point nine six. So when I standardize fifty point nine eight by taking away the mean and dividing by the standard deviation, which is zero point five. I get 1.96, and when I solve this, I get that the mean is 50. So you should have got that the mean was 50 for that first machine. Now we want to find the probability that it can be used. So if it's going to be used, it has to be in between 49 and 50.75. And we now know that the mean is 50, and the standard deviation is 0.5. So you get 0.9104. And that's your first answer that you've got there, OK? In terms of the marks for that, you get one mark for writing down that statement, a mark for doing the standardizing, a mark for solving, a mark for writing out that statement, and then a mark for the final answer, just to see where those marks will come from, OK? I'll come, I can, obviously that's all going to be in the Padlet as well. What does the next bit then seem to be talking about? If we've got 10 strips and I want to know that four of them cannot be used. It's going to be binomial, okay? So we now know that the strips are going to be, if X is the ones that can be used, we're going to say that X is binomially distributed. There are 10 things. We want to know the ones that cannot be used. Well, can be used was 0 0.9104, so cannot be used is 0 0.0... Eight, nine, six. Have I done that right? Not eight, nine, six. Yep. Yeah. Not point not eight, nine, six. And we want to know the probability that it's fewer than four. What does fewer than four look like? Less than, eight, Less than or equal to three. So I'm going to go and put that all on my calculator. Yeah. And you got 0 0.9913. I don't know if I wrote that right. And that's just two marks. The two marks for that are for saying that it's binomially distributed with that, that. And then the next one is just for putting it into the calculator. Now we get onto the bit that is the hypothesis testing. So it says a second machine cuts strips of metal length x, where x is normally distributed with a standard deviation of 0 0.6. A sample of 15 strips is cut by the second machine was found to have a length of 50.4. So I'm going to call that my, I'll use a different letter, I'll use y bar this time. And that was 50.4. And it says stating your hypotheses clearly and using a 1% significance level. 
test whether or not the mean length of all the strips cut by the second machine is greater than 50.1. So that's telling me that the thing I'm assuming is that the mean is 50.1, and my alternative hypothesis is that the mean is greater than 50.1. And I think that y bar is going to be normally distributed with a mean of 50.1, because this is me assuming h naught to be true, and the standard deviation will be 0 0.6, sorry, the variance will be 0 0.6 squared over 15, telling me that the standard deviation is 0 0.6 over root 15. And I'm interested in the probability that y bar is greater than 50.4. So putting that all in the calculator, and I'm hoping I get this the same that you guys did. Uh, greater than 50.4, so I'll do a huge value for this. The standard deviation was, oh my god, how can I never remember these things? It's too many numbers to try and remember. 0 0.6 divided by root 15, and the mean was 50.1, and you get 0 0.0264. Which is greater than 0 0.01, so not enough evidence. to reject H naught. Uh, no reason to believe mean is greater than 50.1 centimeters. OK, I'm just going to show you what the mark team says for this last bit that we have as well, OK? Because it's interesting. You know I mentioned to you about the z values? I'll show you what it, it says for the z values too, OK? So for the hypothesis testing, you get one for getting the correct null and alternative hypothesis. You then get one for saying the, how the x bar is distributed and that you're looking for x bar to be greater than 50.4. You get one for actually putting that into your calculator and getting the probability. And then you get one for doing the comparison and that it's not significant. And then you get the final mark for saying that the mean length of strips, sorry, there, that there is no evidence that the mean length of strips is greater than 50.1. So that's the context set a sentence. You'll notice this little section that I've got here. This is the bit to do with the Z values that I was talking about before. So the Z value of our 50.4 would be 1.936 and the Z value that would correspond to 1% is 2.3263. And because our one is on the left of that, it's not in that kind of critical area. But you don't need to know how to do that, but just in case you come across it in a mark scheme like that. So what you're going to be doing for your homework is lots of exercise 3G, but question 6 and question 7 has got things where there is either a missing mean or a missing standard deviation. In theory, you could have one with a missing mean and a missing standard deviation, and then you could do some hypothesis testing with it as well. The difficulty in these questions is to try and detect when is there binomial, when is there approximations, and all of that kind of stuff that we've got as well. So there's another exam question that I've got here, and I've got that it has a mark scheme for you to have a look at here as well. Even just, glance, even just glancing at this, I can see that they've got a missing standard deviation, they've got um, another kind of binomial within a normal question, and then they've got a hypothesis test, okay? These two exam questions I've just showed you are official exam questions, so that looks like a kind of standard way that they might like to do this, okay? Got it?